The Institute recently evaluated a class of vehicles we haven't tested previously. This is a group of large SUVs that include the Jeep Wagoneer, the Ford Expedition, and the Chevrolet Tahoe. We evaluated them in various crashworthiness and crash avoidance tests. In the moderate overlap frontal crash, all three SUVs did a great job of protecting the driver occupant. Where they fell short is in protection for the rear occupant. And this is the reason why the Jeep Wagoneer did not earn our highest safety rating, the Top Safety Pick Plus. In the updated side crash, all three of these large SUVs did a great job of limiting the structural intrusion into the occupant compartment, and the injury measures for both dummies were low. This means all three of these large SUVs earned a good rating in our side crash test. In the small overlap crash test, the Ford Expedition really did not perform as well as we would like to see most vehicles performing these days. The barrier pushed into some of the vehicle structure, ripping some of it away, and really compromising a lot of the safety cage. What this means is for the driver dummy, you have less survival space, and in this test in particular, we saw elevated lower leg injury measures, which we never like to see. This is the Jeep Wagoneer used in the small overlap test. And as you can see, the vehicle structure held up much better than in the Ford Expedition test. And this is one of the important things we want to see in the small overlap crash in order to earn a good rating. In terms of active safety tests, both the Wagoneer and the Expedition performed really well in the pedestrian collision avoidance tests. What separates the Wagoneer is that it earned better ratings in the headlight evaluations good or acceptable, depending on the trim, whereas the Expedition earned only a marginal rating. Of all three large SUVs, the Tahoe was the one vehicle that really struggled in both our headlight tests and our pedestrian collision avoidance tests. In our headlight test, the Tahoe earned a poor rating due to visibility and glare issues, and in the pedestrian collision avoidance test, it really struggled in our nighttime tests, and it earned a marginal rating. Effective pedestrian collision avoidance systems are important for all vehicle classes, but for large SUVs like these, they are especially important because our research shows that when they strike pedestrians, they are more likely to cause fatal injuries. The Wagoneer shows us it is possible to get good performance in a large SUV. We want the other automakers to take note and improve their designs. Consumers shopping for a large SUV should know that there's a wide range of performance in this vehicle class, but results for the Jeep Wagoneer show that some of these vehicles can perform really well, and they should consider those when shopping for a vehicle. El Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tiene resultados nuevos de la seguridad de SUVs grandes. Para encontrar esos resultados, busquen el web a iihs.org.